<laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's a raining. It's a very, oh no, I'm going through sloshy water right now. Oops. It's a very rainy vlog today. I haven't done a rainy vlog in a long time, but it's summertime. We have actually a really decent rain today because it's still like midday. It's not even like 12 yet and it's raining really hard. We have some things to do. Something exciting to show you guys today as you guys can see the title. Um, in this video today, I will be showing you guys my pregnancy belly bump, whatever you want to call it, because a lot of people are kind of asking if I can do bump dates and stuff like that, but I'll mostly keep that for my second channel because I've already talked to you guys about how we're going to delegate things on this channel, but you guys are going to see um, a pretty physical difference in me here soon that I cannot hide because right now I've just been like hiding it from the videos and it's getting a bit harder. So for me to carry on with our regular scheduled programming, you guys will have to see it. And I don't want to be so drastic. So I'm gonna show you guys today in this video. So hang around for that. But like I said, it's raining and we actually need to go over to where the pigs are because we have to change some things around over there. But anyways, I got two new chickens yesterday from someone and they had to leave them in my tack room. So they've been in my tack room and now I need to move them over to the other coop too. So a lot of different things happening. But anyways, if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you go and give it a big thumbs up. So there's one of the birds. <laughs> Hello, where's the second one? The oh, there you are. <laughs> They're very nice. They're little um, leg bars, but not leg bars, leg horns, my bad. Leg horn pullets. So they do need to go to the coop. We just got them yesterday late and we didn't have anywhere to put them yet. So yeah, <laughs> it's very dark in here now. All right, you guys ready? I am kind of scared to wonder if she pooped on my saddle up there. Uh oh, come here girl. Back in the daylight, <laughs> I got my chicken and my umbrella and Mike's got his chicken. <laughs> I don't know why that chicken likes to be held like that, but it's fine. Of course, just move now. And his drill, cause we've got some things to do over in the other pasture. He's decided to hold his chicken correctly. <laughs> the boys over there are getting rained on. It's starting to rain harder. I need to open my umbrella. I put my umbrella out to protect the chicken. I'm gonna take Mike's chicken too, so I can protect that chicken. Hi right, chickens, let's go. Our goats are not very happy about the rain. Oreo, go underneath the shade. <laughs> As you can see, Minnie and Willie and Dinky kind of know to hide underneath the little covering of the pole barn. Oreo is just out there and exposed. We're gonna fix that for them. So the pullets are in here. That one's eating over there with the food. Hey, be nice. We're kind of doing an adjustment to this pen really quick because if you guys recall, when we had the cows, we always left this stall open as a like shade for the cows. And then it got open when we got Cookie and Chippy because we kept them in here and that's how we like let them over there. We've just never put the boards back up. But since this is a primary pasture for the donkeys and the goats, we have to put it back up so that they aren't constantly just trying to use this foot of covering from the pole barn. Cause it's not fair that they always have to be out in the rain, especially summer season. It rains like every single day, really hard. So we're closing this back up. My <laughs> down there, hurry up, do it. Do one at least so they can't get in. So my job, well, Mike tries to get these boards up is to keep the pigs away from trying to come over here because they're always really interested wherever we are. So if we can just keep them over so that Mike can get these last two boards in. <laughs> My umbrella is becoming really handy. Go away. Sorry. Sorry, piggies. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> go on, piggies. No, no, no. No, no. Stay back, cookie. One more board left. And these goats and Dinky will have somewhere to take cover. Can you help me lift that yes. board up over there? Just, just set it on top of that one. So <laughs> Sorry, pigs. You cannot come over here. Ow! Don't bite me. I was being nice to you. You're so funny. 
look at Mike. I don't think you guys can see, but he has to go so low because we have this little pig pen area enclosure for. Perfect. Okay, opening up this for the goats and such. But we have this wire here that we kept for when the pigs would go in here. But hopefully they'll just walk over it. It's working. They all want to go in there, I think. Or they're just coming to say hello to me. Go in the stall. Go in the stall. It's a little bit wet in the middle. That's because the pigs. There you go, Minnie. She's like, I will gladly go in here. Go in there, Willie. I do want to take down that mesh, though, because I don't know if Oreo will go in there. But they went in there. Dinky, load up. Get in the stall. Oreo, you're soaked. Go in there. There you go. Mike's gonna show her how to do it. Come on, Oreo. Go in there, Oreo. He's gotta step over the wire. She is so wet, my goodness. She's skeptical, but we'll see if she'll do it. If she doesn't do it, we'll have to get the wire out today. <laughs> Hi, friends. Dinky is getting desensitized to an umbrella over there on her own. Oreo. Oreo. Come here. You have to figure out the stall. You can't be in the rain all the time. Luckily, it's not raining right now, but still. These goats are no stranger to this. They're very happy that this is open for them. <laughs> you don't like the rain, huh? Guys, if you have goats, let me know if your goats like the rain. Our goats, not a big fan of the rain. Look at them. Hello, everybody. <laughs> all the pigs are in their little pen, like enclosure in there. It's funny checking out their goat friends he's stretching oh look at this do the ear thing willie come on do the ear thing when he shakes like that like a dog he usually will do this funny thing with his ears okay so we removed the little mesh whatever you want to call it now dinky is not as apprehensive to go in move goats let dinky in <laughs> We were really trying to encourage Oreo to go in here, but she's still a little skeptical. I will report, though, that they are starting to become more of friends with her. Not the best of friends, though. They'll be fine out here without, like, trying to completely hurt her. But at night, she is actually stalled by herself in the barn still. Because they're not really nice to her when they're all enclosed together. It's mostly this one that's kind of mean, but she's coming around. Minnie, what are you doing? Hogging the stall. You're a stall hog. Everyone is out here. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I really wish that they would show you that you thing that they do. It's so funny. Willie, do it. Do it, Willie. Dry your ears off. The pigs are settling over here. Mr. Pig is laying down. Chippy's laying down. Hi, Muffin! <laughs> and the rest of them are observing. Mike brought Oreo in here. There you go, shake it off, Oreo. And it's protecting her from the other goats because she's a little bit skeptical to be in here in this area where it's not as easy for her to get away just yet. So he's protecting her so she can at least dry off and know that it's not as scary. But I see this being short-lived until she's more comfortable around them. <laughs> Oreo kind of did the ear thing for you guys. I missed it almost, but... Ah, big yawn. <laughs> it is seriously so funny to me. Cookie decided to join the afternoon napping with Chibi and <laughs> Mr. Pig. What about you? Are you going to take a nap, Blue Eyes? All right, you guys, so we just got finished over there. Everything's pretty good for now. It's very rainy still. I was thinking about letting these guys in back there. I don't think you guys can see them. Those three, but honestly, it's been so hot out. It's probably 
a nice showering for them. So they don't seem to mind at all. So they're gonna stay out there. Trigger and Junie. Junie! Junie are nice and dry in their stalls. This girl keeps scratching up her face outside and it's bothering me. Why do you keep doing that? Ever since she's been going to the front pasture, she keeps like scratching her face on something and she'll always have burrs in her hair. She's the only one of them that keeps doing that. I'm happy to report that the stall is working. Zinky and the goats are in there and then Oreo's a little skeptical, but as you can see, she's in there. Just more so sitting at the edge to have a good getaway. Anyways, while well, we're taking cover in the barn, this is a good opportunity for me to show you guys my bump. So I kind of wore, like, because it's cold out, kind of like a crew neck, so you won't even be able to fully see exactly what it looks like fully, but you'll get the gist of it. And then in another video, when you see I have a more tighter shirt, um, <laughs> you'll see. Because you will be seeing more of, like, my full body soon when we clean these stalls out this weekend. So, yeah, here you go. I'm going to back up. Okay, so from the front, I kind of look like normal-ish, I guess. And then from the side, there it is. But the crew neck makes it look a little bit not as like big as it is but figured i just ease you guys into what it's looking like but there it is i am right now almost about to be 24 weeks so about six months pregnant so yeah we've got a good bit to go but i probably won't continue to do like bump dates and stuff like this on this channel um you'll obviously just see it as it grows in the videos but over on my second channel stephanie morado vlogs I'm going to be doing more of like bump dates and also on my Instagram. On my stories, I'll post more of like my updates with my bump. But speaking of my second channel, Stephanie Murata Vlogs, I told you guys I was going to be doing a more personal Q&A to follow up the Q&A that I did on this channel about the pregnancy. That was more like animal life related. But the more questions that you guys asked that were more like geared to the logistics of the pregnancy is actually posted already over on my second channel. So. When you're done watching this video, make sure you go ahead and check out that video. It'll be linked in my description down below. So it's been a couple hours now and it's super sunny like it hasn't even rained. Welcome to Florida. But we've got some leftover produce. This romaine lettuce that we're going to give to the animals. We're going to save some for the pigs, but I'm going to give some lettuce to the goats. We got some fruit over there that we'll give some to the horses. And then the rest of the pigs and the chickens. Here comes a chicken. Hey, chick, 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 come here. Trying to summon my goats. We bring lettuce. <laughs> Silly, you have to share the lettuce. I knew they were gonna be excited about this. Oh my gosh. Hey. <laughs> he stole another lettuce. Eesh. Give it to Minnie. He doesn't even want it. Minnie? Here we go. Give me this. Let me give it to her. Oreo, here. No, stop. Stop, Willie. Oreo. Y'all need to be quicker than this. Yeah, well, no one can get anything because this guy. Oreo, here. Oreo. I think he's got one lettuce. I cannot believe. How much? Here, go ahead. This goat keeps eating things. Mike's going to distract Willie for me so I can feed this little Oreo. Hurry up, Oreo. Bite it. It's good for you. Oreo, come on. She's like, these are not animal crackers. No, thank you. I am not a healthy queen. Oh, gosh. I can't believe Willie. Willie! <laughs> okay, maybe something else for Oreo. Oreo's a cookie, so she likes cookies. Dinky, did you like your lettuce down there that you dropped? Mm -hmm. Not really. He's a lettuce mongrel. Dinky, do you want a watermelon? Willie is a glutton and just keeps eating everything. Dinky likes watermelon, though. Oreo, watermelon? She likes that. Look, Mike. Sweet. Like a cookie. Try that, Minnie. Oh, I dropped it. How come Oreo doesn't like anything except cookies? Here, Dinks. Watermelon. Good girl. Oh, she dropped it. Dinky. Here. Good girl. Crash. You want some refreshing fruit? For this hot day. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Watermelon. 
It's nice and fresh. Louie, wasted a good watermelon. Watermelon? What is Blaze like? Sometimes Blaze is, oh my gosh, I was gonna say, sometimes Blaze is picky, but not today. What was that one? Uh, honeydew. Honeydew? Louie wants nothing to do with our fruit. Hmm, Blaze told him to go away. Here, look. <laughs> Louie, come here. Let Blaze have this whole face into that for fun. Do <laughs> you want any of it, Blaze? Or cash? Nothing? <laughs> Blaze, you like fruit so much. I thought you guys were going to be bigger fans of this. <laughs> nice hot summer day after some rain. Really cools you down. Okay, let's save the rest for the pigs. Chippy, one romaine lettuce for you. Let's see if I can manage to give everyone a romaine lettuce. Muffin. Oh gosh. No cookie. <laughs> Muffin. Muffin. All right, Cookie, have one. Cookie's got one. Can I give you lettuce? Good, okay. I don't know if I'll have enough for each pig, but... Okay. Muffin. Muffin! No, Cookie! Pink pig. Someone take it! Ow! No one's understanding what I'm trying to do here. There he goes. You guys are so... Such crybabies. Oh my gosh. Fresh fruit. Stewie, stop crying and go get some fresh fruit. All right, well, they're gonna... Stewie, here, let's see if Stewie can get some on his own. Stewie, come here, baby. All right. Stu, Stu, here's Stu. Stewie's not a big bait for sure. Here, look, 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 look. Yes, yeah, give it to him from underneath there. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys are gonna be sticky pigs. Oh my gosh. There you go, Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig doesn't often get to be pushy because he's a little slower and chunkier. Now Big Chong's gonna come get it. It's, Mr. Pig should tell her to back off. Let's see. Be fast. Okay, there's all of our goodies. And now, of course, what would end a vlog or a weekend without stopping into? Tractor Supply. Are you guys? We just got back from Tractor Supply, and now I need to change my outfit because I need to put on something that's a little less warm because it's actually time to go do my barn now. So we have to clean up all the hay, gonna do the stalls and everything. Not very excited about that, but it's time to get it done because I feel pretty good today. So, anyways, if you guys liked today's vlog, then make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any videos like this. Are right, you guys? Well, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.